Hey, spin his chin. Hey, what are you doing? You gonna go shop? You gonna work on Harold? Okay. Let me see if I can do this. Uh, maybe that'll work. Okay. Greetings, everybody, and all the ships at sea. I got a, another mail call. I don't even know if that's showing up. From here, I need my glasses. See? It's from a. It says. Heavy Shabby in North Carolina. So, uh, we know how we're going to open this one. I don't know if you can see this or not. Uncle made this holster. He's really pretty good. And this is my old cowboy pistol. I don't know if you can see that. Look at that. I never shot it. It's a 45 long coat, which is a pretty good, pretty good uh, little rascal. So we're just going to. Uh, We're going to just shoot at the edges here. Well, wait a minute. Uh, my, my Jeep's in the army truck behind it. That blast it. Anyway, we'll just set this down here. Okay, we'll do it the normal way, which is odd for me to do anything the normal way. Hey, that's, that's good. You can't see my head. Uh, you know, it's... It's a perishing life, but it's it's our life. Okay. Let's see what this is. And he likes to tape like I do. I tape everything up to make sure that it don't get lost. And I told somebody just a few minutes ago trying to get some of my comments wrote up that when I boarded a plane back in back in the 80's no 90's it was one of them numbers uh, this they carded me at the end of the end of the ramp to get onto the airplane and this knife was come in question, a little pocket knife I've had for a hundred years. And I blowed the end of it off, getting it into 220 and all sorts of good stuff. And, uh, it's got these serrated things on the end, and they didn't like that. Somehow that makes this into a terrible weapon. So uh, they didn't let me on the plane, and uh, I just walked back to the mezzanine or whatever you call it and stuck this knife <coughs> down in a plant in a, a, a pot where the plant was growing up. It had these weird plants. I just crammed it in there like nobody was looking. That's the best way to do stuff is not to look around. Just go ahead and do it. Got on a plane and then a week later I come back. This is in Little Rock at the Little Rock Airport. Uh, Come back off my plane, got my stuff, and walked over to the planter, picked my pick my little pocket knife up, put it in my pocket, and went came back to Leslie, Arkansas. So uh, that's my pocket knife story. But I might need to get this again. This has got some wonderful stuff in it. Boy, I tell you what, you talk about crafty people. Yeah, and that's uh, that's the whole crew there of the Heavy Chevys. If you hadn't ever watched them, you need to go watch them. You'll be hooked. 
it's just like the Brady Bunch, only with brains. Or should it be the Partridge Family? I, I shoot, I don't know. It's part, it's part of both. And uh, I always cut towards your femoral artery. He got me a watch. Woohoo! Man, this really, this is a, a Hamilton. Hamilton? Anyway, woohoo! Another big old heavy pocket watch. Now, if you ever watched uh, Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Slayer, he grabs his, he grabs a, a silver watch. And he whoops it through somebody's guts and stuff. Since it's silver, it kills the vampire. That's a great movie. It sounds goofy, but it's, you know, it could be. It could be real. You know, who knows what Abraham Lincoln did. I know what his wife did. Woohoo. Man, see, see, they're so tender. They're gonna make me cry reading that. But anyway, uh, look at hell. Got my alternator bolts. Very sweetly. See, my family was really, ooh, look at this, look at this, a copial bracelet, and little as my wrists are, I always had big arms, but little wrists, who, who, who figured that out, I don't know, we're going, oh, it's got to be metric, there we go, look at there, let's see here. Uh, la, 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 la. Mr. Heavy Chevy made me some bracelets, these copper things. When you get old, you gotta have a lot of metal in you. I've got a lot of stuff in me that shouldn't be. Uh, of course, you all know how I spent my youth and others doing stupid stuff. I used to sit on a fishing bank and I would chew sinkers, lead sinkers. I'd sit there and I'd chew them up. That's when I had a, a, a half a set of teeth. And uh, I'd just chew them up and watch my in my pole and uh, come to find out lead is kind of poison and I used to dad would bring home stuff from the from the railroad it would have these things of mercury in them and I'd pour that out and I'd let it roll around in my hand because it really felt heavy mercury is hugely it looks a little but it's hugely heavy and it's fun to mess around with it and poke it and do stuff and Come to find out that's kind of poison too. But anyway, uh, I've got some sweet gifts in here. Wow. I'm really, really excited about what this, what little heavy shabby woman, girl, made me. I bet this is it. Woohoo! Look at this! Sweet! I got that. This will go on the frame because I love this family and all of them in there. Look at this. It's even. We're up, up is down, down is up. It's even signed. 
by the sweet angel. See, I hope they realize that not everybody's as, as good as they are. And that's what amazes everybody uh, how dead burn good all of them are. Thank you so much. I love y'all. Thank you. This is gonna, I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna put a frame and we'll do that. Wow. Now this is kind of, she got a little color to the eyeball. And when my wife, see I even got another bracelet in here. That would be dangerous, so I'd pro I'll probably do that off camera. <laughs> this is neat. Thank you so much. I'm touched. I'm touched in the head, but I'm touched here, too. Uh, this has got a little streak of color in the edge of the eye. And uh, when Mary Ann got to looking me over for maybe a future future reference or something, she said, you've got hazel eyes, or she said that, and then she would say, I would wear a green shirt, and she said, oh, your eyes are real green today, or I would wear a blue shirt, and she'd say, oh, your eyes are blue today. Well, I've got a ring around my eyeballs, I never know it, and my mama, to the day she died, she said that I had brown eyes and they wasn't hazel, but just like this eye here that she made me, I've got a ring around it that evidently changes color with whatever I'm wearing. Now go figure that out. Uh, I don't look at myself in the mirror, and, and you've seen me, you know why. So, uh, you know, that's another, that's, this is a very, very neat. That it's, it's got that little ring of color on it too. It's really neat. Uh, you know, things like that happens to me in my life. Things get this way and that way, and, and it ends up ending up uh, uh, a story that makes sense out of nonsense. So uh, I'm going to shut this off and, and uh, upload this, or sideload it, or endload it. And uh, I'm going to tell you all that I love you. And thank you all for all your gifts and for watching and aggravating. Hopefully you'll aggravate more. Uh, I know Marky, uh, the head heavy Chevy, he's really funny. And it's sometimes it's a kind of a dry humor that you only get if you know certain things and you see the reaction of the people that he's teasing. Uh, and that's hilarious. So he, and pretty much everything he says is for, for fun, kind of like me. And uh, I guess I'll get off of here. Yeah, today is 60 degrees here on the Cutworm Sports. Hey, Shirley. 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 She knows I mean it when I do that. Sorry. Hey, get her out. Go, 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 go. Oh, there you are. Come on. You silly. Okay. I don't know if I can do this. This is upside down, by the way. Okay. Uh, okay. Bye. I love you. Thank you.